Okay, we're gonna have some pizza. Oh no, we ain't got no pizza sauce. Well, don't panic. Here's what we're gonna do. Got some organic tomato sauce. That's a 15 ounce can. Okay, I got me some minced up onions. I got me some garlic, some olive oil, measuring spoons. And this says oregano leaves on it, but it's an Italian seasoning mix. And we're gonna use that. So first thing we're going to do is got some garlic here, a couple of pieces. We want to get that rind off of there, that, that peel. You just take it rubbed in your hands like that. Yeah, it all goes on the floor. I usually do it over the sink, but I'm just trying to show what's going on here. See, I took that sucker right off. And when you do that, if you got those little dry ends on there, you want to cut them off because you start doing this, they'll poke your fingers. In your palms that'll hurt now garlic presses I am real impressed with this sucker you put them in there like that give her a little squeeze Ta -da. and take your knife just trim that off like that now Impressive? This is what I like. Look at that. All that stuff that you would have missed out on comes right on out. And I'll chop that up and throw that in there too. But this is so nice because you press down in, it comes up with it, and you can clean that sucker real easy. Now that's another project. So I got my garlic in here. I chop this up. Why not? It's good stuff. It's got good flavor in it. You smushed it. You brought all them oils out. And here you go. Those are some kind of big chunks. I don't care. I like garlic. some help from the audience. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Just a touch. And we're going to sweat this down. So I'm going to give that a couple of minutes here. And once we get these sweated down a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and throw that sauce in there and that seasoning. And we'll go from there. But this is a homemade pizza sauce. What we don't use tonight will freeze. And we'll have it for the next time. We just didn't have any. That's why I'm making it. Okay, so we got this sweating down. We'll go ahead and add that tomato sauce in there. Put a tablespoon of this Italian seasoning. Pretty much oregano, but there's some other things in there too. It'll make it really good. This pizza sauce. This ain't spaghetti sauce. So there's a lot more of this type of stuff in it. Our garlic and our seasoning all in here and this is tomato sauce it's not paste it's going to be runny but that's okay because we're making a sauce for pizza mm, smells really good already And we're going to cook that for about 15-20 minutes. And then we'll let it cool and it'll be ready to put on pizza. Oh, wait a minute. Don't have pizza made yet. Well, we're going to work on that too. It ain't going to be no bogley or 
or no store bought Betty Crocker crust are going to be homemade. So I've got my sauce simmering over here. We'll shut that down after a little bit. I got my mixing bowl. I got my measuring cup. That's a one cup. I'm going to use one cup of warm water. Put it in this glass. Put this yeast in it. It activates the yeast. Got my flour and my extra virgin olive oil. So we're going to mix up this dough and it's going to proof and we're going to show you that process. This is really simple. You don't have to go out and buy store made stuff. It goes together really quick. Yeah, it takes a little while for it to rise and on a cold day it makes it even harder but it can be done and I'm going to show you that. So, pizza! Okay, we're going to get this pizza dough going here. I'm going to take off my ring because my fingers are going to get into this one. So what we got to do... Two and a half cups. Save that last half right there in reserve. There's that. Now we gotta get our warm water going here. I'm gonna temper the glass a little bit so it'll stay warmer. My yeast in the water. Give it a little stir here. I'm using a fork, so we'll use this. Trying to get it all dissolved. Good stuff. Then we need two tablespoons of olive oil. This gives it the elasticity. And no, you ain't going to see me throwing this sucker neither. That's not going to happen. I just roll it out with a rolling pin like normal people do who can't throw pizza dough. Okay. I'm going to mix this up a little bit. Get this started. Oil on there. And yeah, I know that the other types of doubles and stuff that you can buy pre-made and everything like that are pretty good. We use them all the time too. But there is something just really good about a homemade one. Yum, yum. 
And you already get that dough with that yeast, that, that smell. Mmm. Come together real good. And they say, you know, you can do this with a mixer and all that kind of stuff. That's just like, that's just too much. Too much. Okay, it's really sticky. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the rest of that flour in there. And get that all mixed in. Just a little bit mild. I think it's only like 65 in the house or whatever. I went ahead and fired off the oven so that I can put this on top of the stove and the heat coming from the oven will make this rise. And that's why I took off my wedding ring right there because I am getting into this. Just kind of knead it in the bowl, get a good plan going there. But good elasticity to it already, I can feel it. Smells so yummy. And the house smells good too because of the sauce. I've already got the sauce done. It's sitting over there cooled. We have to make this come together just like this. saying to yourself well that there ain't real big and you're right it ain't it ain't real big at all but because of the yeast that's in it it's going to proof we'll set that bad boy in there just like that Now I've got some chicken sausage here that's going to go in this. Um, this is uh, Alfresca chicken sausage. It's a sweet Italian and just slice it, take it out of the uh, casing and fry it up in a pan. And that'll be part of our topping along with some cheese and our sauce, of course. And then there's going to be some pepperoni on it as well. And I'm going to take and cut some zucchini and I'm going to fry it in butter and garlic. And that's going to go on there as well. All right. So I'm going to shut this off for a second and I'll give you a look at the um, dough in the thing here so you can see what size it is now when it proofs I'll take another picture of it all right okay now you see that little bitty ball of dough in there I'm hoping it doubles in size because that means that yeast is working really well so we'll cover it up put it on top of the stove let it rise 
So there's the sauce sitting there and that dough is in the bowl on top of the stove. Now the stove is on, 425, that's what we're going to bake this thing at. And cover it, because that's just what you do. You just cover it. Um, it helps it rise, I guess, keeps the heat in, so it'll help rise. Um, we'll just let that go and pretty soon we'll roll it out. A little more prep here is that sausage. I've taken it out of the casings and now I'm just going to fry it up. After I get done with this, then I'm going to put the zucchini and the butter and the garlic in there. And I'm going to brown some zucchini to throw on a piece. And I got my garlic all slivered up in there. And it's melting with the butter right now. There's a little bit of, little bitty pat of butter. Just a touch of olive oil, and then I'm going to throw this zucchini on it. And there they are. They're just going to cook up a little bit, and put a little bit of pepper on them here. This will be real quick. I'm going to set them off to the side. Just a little bit of color on them. Let them soak up some of that butter and that garlic. They'll be good. And there's my ingredients for the toppings. Got pepperoni there on the left, sausage up there in the bowl, and tomatoes and zucchini. I mean, you know, we usually have mushrooms and olives for it and everything, but this is a different pizza. And then I got the dough rising over here. We're going to check that next. And there's my big old pile of blended cheeses just about have everything that we had in the fridge in that sucker right there now let's check this how'd this come out oh my looky it's almost tripled in size that's gonna make a good pizza alrighty we'll get to that here in just a second Now I put a couple of teeth, tablespoons full of flour in here. I'm just going to lightly dust my work surface here. Got some in reserve. Now, check that bad boy out, huh? Right on. I am so looking forward to playing with this. Yeah, and don't get it in your head that you'll be seeing me flopping this bad boy around in there. That's not going to happen. That's not my cup of tea, no sir. Not going to work it or nothing. I'm just going to roll this bad boy up. Try to make it as round as I possibly can. Nothing fancy, it's just a dowel. Rounding it off works really well though. I sure like it. Mmm, my goodness. Oh, it smells so wonderful. Try to spread this out as best I can. Oh, isn't that pretty? My, my, my. There it is. Now, I got my pizza stone here. I'm going to take a little bit of this corn stone. meal sprinkling on there and then we're gonna peel this oh don't stick that wouldn't be good yep come on give me fits I 
it's okay. That's what you get. See how we just drape that bad boy over the edge there like that? Mmm. God, I should put some cheese in all that that I got, but I wanted to make it as thin crust. So that'll work out. Okay. So what I need is one of these things here. Hell, there's going to be enough for all that. Dang pizza right there. That's going in now. Yes, sir. I'll meet that back together. And you're just going to do this. Go around the corner and around the edge. Give it a little flip and pinch. It'll be real thin right there. That's okay, though. We like thin crust. My oven's already on 425, just like the day at Papa Murphy's. And that's why I don't work there. Right there. I don't make a real pretty edge. But it's a worker. Make a dish. Okay, there's that part. Now, we're going to take our sauce and we're going to put that on there. This reduced from the tomato sauce in the can to the consistency that it is now. It is wonderful. Just wants to perform. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> Too bad this ain't smell vision Y'all be really jealous right now. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, very nice. That sauce is just nice. Clean. Look at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, it smells so good. Quite a bit left there. Now I'm going to mix up some of my cheese here. Bring that into the mix. Put on some of our pepperoni. This is the fun part, putting it all together. Mm. This is real good pepperoni we got from the Italian butcher over there in Seattle wife goes over there every once in a while, picks some stuff up with her mom.
And there's that. Now, sprinkle some of this sausage in here. Mmm. Highly recommend this alfresca chicken sausage. Highly recommend it. Very tasty. And it's chicken. It's supposed to be good or for you. I don't know if that's true or not. But I'm going with it. Da, 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 da. Now. Put a little more bonding cheese on here. That part's a little more difficult than it looks. Then, put some of this good stuff on here. This just zucchini and was sauteed in a little bit of butter, some olive oil, and some garlic. And it sure smells good. And no, I did not waste that garlic. It's still going on there. Somebody's going to get a treat. Okay, there's that. Now, put these baiters on there. Like that. Get some more of this. Put in our oven at 425. It'll bake for like about 18 minutes. We'll check it at 15. And there's one other little trick that we like to do to finish ours off. And that's to slide it off onto the bare rack. Oh, leftovers. I get those. Mm. Ta da! Pizza, pizza. And there she is, all ready to go in the oven. I'm just waiting for the other half to show up. And I'll slap that bad boy in there. By 18 minutes, she'll be done. Now, I had some leftover of that dough and stuff. You saw that big ball that I had left over after I trimmed it out because I roll it out really thin so what I did with that was I stuck it in there and I'm baking myself a breadstick and a pre-made pizza crust so I can just utilize that bad boy whenever I feel like making a personal sized pizza I just throw it in the freezer good idea so there it is fresh out of the oven Nice and bubbly hot. Looks good. Smells good. I can't wait. Hope you enjoyed it.